Hi, everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw She-Ra. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself, then get us going. Okay, so I'm going to make her a little smaller because I'm going to have her, eh, not really smaller, but uh, the positioning I'm going to put her in because uh, I'm going to have the sword up here. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. I think that'll work. So, because I wanted her hand up high like that, I kind of wanted to uh, get the positioning right and to make sure that uh, I had enough room, basically. Okay, so uh, I've talked about stuff like this before, so I'll go ahead and talk about it again now. I think I'm going to go for more of my style. You know, a well, I mean, you should always go for your style, right? Don't try to draw like somebody else. But uh, for more of the real style than the cartoon or the animated, you know, version. So, yeah, so it'll be based on real anatomy and uh, as, as real as I can make it look. Okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna draw her hand up like this and I'll probably just make it to a fist over here because she's strong and ready to fight. Okay, let's see. So, that looks about right to me position-wise or shape-wise. So, I can now start to add um, uh, details. And I say this a lot, that you don't want to add your details until you get the entire thing blocked off or the, the, the position, you know, because um, you don't want to be you know start you don't want to start with the face and then you're working and you're working and you're working and the feet are down here they're off the page you know so you kind of want to plan everything to make sure that you uh, yeah like I just said to make sure you've got it uh, correct come correct son okay let's see now the downside is though I am going by the animated look of what exists so I am kind of uh, kind of trying to figure out what's real and what's you know animated okay so I'm gonna draw a little skirt right here like this draw that up I'll draw some billowy waves in the in the skirt or it's not really a skirt right it's kind of a it's just hanging off of her shirt I don't know that's kind of the cool thing about this whole redesign that they kind of went in a, in a cool angle that it's it's uh, different you know let's see okay so I got to draw her shoulder like that Oh, this one. Now, that one. This one's going to be more pointed up because her her shoulders raised. So uh, yeah. Okay. So hopefully the detail won't take me too long. This one, but it's got it's got quite a bit of detail that I want to get right. You know. So so bear with me. Okay. So let's see. You're going to draw one down here like this, and. A lot of times I try to take care of this stuff with color, but again, because it's animated, I kind of get away with uh, making it look a little more, you know, outlined with the Sharpie because it's, it's, uh, it, that's how it is in the animated version. All right. So something like that, that looks pretty good. Draw some muscles here. And then to her forearm, which is gonna have her her uh, 
what do you call it, the uh, gauntlet, you know, the armband, the wristband. Okay, look good, looks good. Okay, so that shoulder's here like that. This muscle is like this. And this is also where it, it, it's good to know your anatomy. Because, you know, I may not draw this 100% perfect, but I understand enough of anatomy that I can put her in the right position that I want her to be in to, to get this pose. So study your anatomy, kids. All right, uh, let's see, let's see. Let me try to make sure I got the head in a good position. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, so I got the 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 the, the I couldn't think of the word. I got the sword in this hand up in the air. So here's what we're gonna do. So remember. When you're holding something, your hand isn't closed completely. It's wrapped around. And so you gotta leave room for what you're holding and have the fingers up a little bit. So doing that and say, saying that, I'm gonna draw her hand kind of like this. And that's where the sword's gonna be. And so let's see, the thumb's kind of wrapped around like this. Okay. This middle finger, I'm sorry, the first finger is, is uh, up higher than the rest. Then the middle finger is, I got that digit, I got this digit, and this one's around like that. Same thing here, almost the same size. And then the pinky is a little bit over like that, okay? All right, so if you can see, it looks like this, okay? So up, middle, up, up, leave space for something, all right? That's kind of what we're doing. So uh, it'll make more sense when I actually draw the, the sword, but for now, we're, we're, we're dealing with a sketch, okay? So let's see, let's... See if I can sketch this out real fast. I probably should have uh, worked on other bits first, but uh, this is where we are. Okay. And you know, I'm gonna try to get this as close as possible, but you know, uh, I can only get so close. <laughs> I know that kind of sounds like a cop out, like meh, good enough. I'm just saying, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not the, the, the expert here. No, that's too close. Okay. Okay, something like that. Sorry, I got quiet again. I, every time I go quiet, it's because I'm concentrating. Okay. All right, I think I can live with that. Let's see, and those wings are out. Okay, I think that's good enough. So, let's see. Yeah, I think that'll work. I may use a ruler on that. So you go find one, get ready. Okay, so let's see. So I think that's good for the costume. I just gotta draw in the boots, right? Let's draw in some boots. Let's see if I can get this detail right. So again, it's got a little bit of specific detail to it. So let me try to get it right. Okay, so it's got like this around here like that. This going in like this. And again, I think for, for this specific uh, detail, again, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Sharpie. Whereas, like I said, normally I do it with color, but this time 
I can uh, I can add add my own detail to it. All right, not too bad. Let's see. Let's do this leg over here now. Okay, I'm just gonna put the knee right there. So that means let's ease it over her knee a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. So. Okay, so that's flowing over like that. This is around like this. This goes over. There we go. Okay. All right, so again, see? See how I, I start to get quiet every time I really start to concentrate? All right. Uh, I, th I think that's good enough. I'm going to raise this one up just a little bit just to match that other one over there because it's kind of kind of big. Okay. All right. So that's good for the boots. And now I just need to add a little bit of few, few more little details like the cape. And let's see. Let's do some kind of flowing what do we got here? A little, a little flowing back. Something like this. Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right, so now we just gotta finish up the hair, the head, and uh, yeah, and that's it. So it's taking a little bit long, but sorry about that. But uh, you know, it's it's got a lot of detail to it, so we just got to make sure I get it right. All right. Okay. So again, there I go, I'm getting quiet because I'm concentrating. Okay, and so now I can add the the headband, right? Is that what that is? Yeah, headband to the little jewel on her hair. Okay, you say so, Shira. You put the jewel on your hair. Why not? Um, and so her hair is kind of parted on the side, right? So I'm gonna gonna give her a little a little wisp like that. Let's see, and then the rest is kind of underneath, flying out. Got to put those wings on our head. Let's see, what side of the sword? I guess I'm back behind, right? Because, uh... Because that's where it would be. Like, the sword would be in front. Closer to you than, than the helmet. Okay, not bad, not bad. So let's draw some, some crazy wispy hair, right? Okay, so there's coming out like this. Let's draw some, some, some crazy strands. And let's see, what can we do over here? <clears throat> it's almost like, well, we've already done crazy strands. You know why? Why keep doing them? You don't want to make it every single hair crazy. Why not? Let's do it. Let's go crazy all over the place, right? Okay, I I, I say we're I'm, I'm ready. It uh, finally <laughs> took me a while to get there, but I think I'm ready. I'm going to erase a lot of these uh, faint lines and leave the confidence lines, and we'll get going. So, like I said, if you want to go get a, a a ruler, a little straight edge with a sword here, go for it because I'm going to use mine. And I always have mine at the ready, so I don't have to go anywhere. Okay. I need my eraser. Try to clean it a little bit. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. All right, everybody ready to go? I am ready to switch to Sharpies. I say we welcome everybody that skipped to this portion of the video. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie Fine Point and Sharpie Pen. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do one of these every day, not her, but I do a drawing every day. You can join along, have some fun and play with me. Uh, I'm gonna use the Fine Point, but mostly the pen, no, I'm sorry, mostly the Fine Point, but use the pen just a little bit for the finer details that are finer than the Fine Point, because that's pretty big. Uh, so, I'm gonna get started. I've already sketched the entire thing out and erased the faint lines, and I'm gonna build off of this. So I'm gonna draw her eyes, the top of the lids first, just to see if I've got them where I want them. It looks like it, looks good to me. So I'm gonna draw her retinas, a little big, but it's cartoonish, you know, so it's, it's okay to do this this time. Then I'm gonna draw the pupil, black part, just in just a little bit. I gotta be careful with these because these Sharpies will bleed. So that's why I'm trying to be a little careful with it. Okay, give her a little bit of cat eye makeup. You know, a little bit of, a little wing right there. But that's all I'm doing. I'm, I'm not gonna draw the underside of the eye because I don't do it because these Sharpies will bleed. So uh, it helps that she's cartoon and she doesn't have them either. So. Uh, um, I can kind of get away with it this time. So I'm going to draw her brow kind of not really angry brow, but yeah, it's kind of into the, into the eye like this, you know, she's not angry, but she's, she's, uh, a little, a little furrowed, furrowed brow is what it's called. Something like that. Okay. So for the nose, I can't really do much anyway because it's, again, this is a tiny Sharpie and I don't want it to bleed too much. So I'm just gonna kind of do something like this. Give her the uh, inference, infer that there's nostrils, imply, I guess. And I'll give her a little bit of a the, the dainty nose like that. Oops. Okay, see, the more I add, the more it's starting to bleed. So I gotta walk away. I'm adding way too much now. So I'm gonna give her kind of a, a little bit of a smile like that. And I want to draw more here just to do like that. That's all I can really do because it's going to bleed. So I need to walk away before I go further. I'm going to give her a little bit of the lip at the bottom like that. And then I'm going to draw her chin and build off of this. So I'm going to come up here with the face and I'm going to bleed it just not bleed. I'm going to extend it just a little bit, make it a little thicker because I'm about to switch over to the other Sharpies for the rest of it, and those are super thick. So I'm trying to make it look cohesive to what's about to happen. And draw her ear in a little like this, and I got it stopped. Like I didn't draw the entire ear because I'm gonna have her hair flowing out in a second. So it's kind of covering up uh, the rest of her ear, okay? Ooh, look at that, I did a little cheekbone. Let's do that over here too, little, just a little bit, a little implying of the cheekbone. All right, so now, since we got the fine detail, let's keep adding with this. I'm gonna add the hairband, headband, I guess, that leads to the, uh, the wings. I'm gonna go ahead and do both uh, levels because it's like super thin and going up to it like that. And I, I'm, I'm just stopping where my sketch is, so I know it looks like a lot of my lines are floating. But again, that's why I sketch, because it's all planned out. All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and draw her ears, but, well, no, let me draw this, hang on. The little jewel in her hair. And so I think I wanna switch over to the big Sharpie now, because, oh, I love that sound, because uh, it's, it's gonna fit for what I'm gonna do. So let's draw her well, let's, let's, let's do this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I keep jumping around. I'm going to draw her hairline like this. And it's going to come up and it's kind of parted on the side, right? So it's back behind the little uh, um, headband. I want to say the jewel behind the headband. It's going to go under and out like this. We're doing some kind of little crazy little whippy, you know, showing that her hair's kind of uh, flowing out in this cool uh, lock of hair. All right, so now I'm gonna switch over to the other Sharpie because I've defined a, a few lines that I can only control with this. 
All right? So, back to the hairband. So I'm gonna draw the ears, or the ears, the, the wings, and see how much thicker that is? That's why I was trying to get this thick to make it look uh, cohesive. Now, hear me out. The, the sword is gonna be up above her head, so that's why I'm kind of stopping like that. I kind of almost wanna do those first, and then we'll come back around so you see why I'm stopping right there. So, hmm, how can we do this? Um, I guess we can draw the sword, and that will help you define our edge. Let's do that. Maybe. See, I don't want to do it for you, and it's going to be floating. You don't know where it is. Well, let's just draw the ear. I'm just going to go keep going with the wing. I keep calling it an ear, but I know it's a wing. But see how I'm not connecting at the top? Just leave it open like that, because we're going to do something in a second. So same thing over here. I'm going to go up, but lower. Okay, something like this. And so now I can draw the top of her head and just kind of imagine where it's going around for the, the round part. Something like this. It's not perfectly round, but that's okay because it's hair, so we can get away with that, you know? And so now I'm gonna draw, not through that piece, but just some whips like this, you know, just to draw the edges of her hair. And I should probably build the rest of her body next before I go too far because um, she's got those shoulder pads that I want to put in there and then draw the hair behind that. So let's go down. Let's just, we'll start working with it. So I'm going to draw her neck down and her shoulders up. So that's as long as I want to make her neck. I don't want to make it any longer because there's, there's pieces I need to draw here first. So I'm going to draw her chest. Well, her, her arm is up, so her shoulder's up like that, and this part's going over her chest. So this is where her her uh, arm piece is, the, the shoulder pad. Like this, okay? And then this one over here, I've got it coming over this way, and then down to her arm, and it's going to be over her arm like this, and over like that, okay? So that's why I wanted to draw these first before I started going crazy with the hair, because I wanted those in front. And again, this arm is up, so let's do that. Let's continue this way, then we'll work back. That way you'll see where I'm going with the sword, okay? So I'm gonna draw her arm up. So here's her, her uh, bicep and then her shoulder. And it's gonna go to the forearm of the uh, gauntlet right there. And it's kind of in a little V. So that'll let us draw the other side here. Like this. And we'll draw a few of those little muscle lines from where her arm is is, uh, is uh, uh, creased, you know? So I'll just do a little one like that too. All right, so now I'm gonna draw the gauntlet up, but uh, the sword is over it a little bit right there, so be careful. O leave any space open like this, and we'll come back and fill that in in a second. And draw the other side over here, connect it like that, close it off, and then we're gonna draw our hand. And I talked about this in the sketch, that when you draw our hand, Remember, she's holding something, so don't draw it closed. It's going to be over uh, the, the handle, like this. So, it's kind of off to the side, too. So, I'm going to draw the thumb, like this. And there's the meat of the hand. Let me show you a few more details on that thumb, just so you see where we are. Like this. Okay. And then I'm going to draw the first finger over like this, the other fingers like this, same thing, and then the pinky is up like that, okay? So then the bottom of the hand is going to be like this. Does that make sense? Does it look like it's holding something now? Because that's what we're going for, you know? Let me draw like some, some curves on the knuckles so you see where we are, and that'll help you. Uh, understand the anatomy a little bit more, okay? All right. So now I'm going to draw the handle and it's going to come out like this. Come back in and open. So see, it's wrapped around. It's not just closed on something, you know? So 
Okay, I'm just adding a few little details to try to make it look like it's weaved with something wrapped around the handle. And so now we're gonna draw the sword. And so I'm gonna draw the inside and then draw those little wings. So I'm gonna come out like this. Let's do this side like that too. So something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because mine's not gonna be. So don't worry about if yours doesn't. And remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. We'll meet somewhere in between. Okay, so I'm just gonna do something like this for the the layers of the the little uh um what do you call this? I don't know what you call that, the ornament, the decoration. So I'm gonna draw the little things that stick out. It's like kinda of like the saber handles or the saber protector. What do you what do you call that? Yeah. So that's why I wanted to leave it open a little bit like that, because I wanted it over the wrist right there. All right, so I'm gonna draw a little opal. I always call it an opal, I don't know why. I'm gonna draw a little handle over it like that. And so now I'm gonna draw the blade. And so I'm gonna kind of follow my sketch and make sure I try not to go, well, I'm gonna try not to go over her ears. But if it happens, it happens. Ears, wings, I keep saying ears. Something like that. There you go. And see, that's why I wanted it um stopped so it can it can float behind it okay so something like that i'm kind of following the handle where i would think the the straightness of it would be i'm just kind of doing something like this all right so let's give it to a point right there let's see if we can connect them we might be off a little but that's okay that's all right so something like that let's try to connect this one How about like that? All right. Okay. Looking good. How's yours looking? Awesome. Okay. So let me draw just a little bit of the middle, just something like this. Something like that. And then it's got that, that, uh, that extra part that we'll just do like this. We don't have to go too crazy. All right. Okay, we gotta get booking. We gotta get booking, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and draw her body and go work down and then we can work on this stuff out, okay? So I'm gonna draw her chest to her um, um, middle piece here for the end of her coat, the end of her coat, end of her shirt, like this, and then work my way back up this way. And with the detail, I'm gonna add, with the tiny Sharpie, I'm gonna add this line in like this, this in like this, and just bear with me because I'm just gonna trace what I did, the sketch that I did. So, I'm following the pattern that they have, and I'm just kind of following the, uh, the shape of, of the sketch that I did. Okay? So I know it just looks like I'm just drawing, but again, I sketched this entire thing out, so I, I was able to do this super easy, super fast. Like that, okay? And then her tops like that. There we go. Okay, looking good. I hope yours is coming out awesome. So now we're just gonna draw her arm down here. So we're gonna draw her shoulder to her bicep, to her forearm, but again, she's got that gauntlet, so we're gonna close it off. Draw the underside and close it off there. And draw the gauntlet. Okay, in her hand, I'm just having in a fist. So I'm just gonna bulk it down like this. Okay, and again, we'll just add a few little extra details just for the muscles. And we'll do a little bit for the, the, the bend of the arm, the crook of the arm is what I call it. Okay, so, Let's see. All right, so now I'm gonna draw her, her little skirt hanging off right here. So it's gonna be flowing a little bit. I've got it going like this. All right, so now I'm just gonna reconnect it. Anywhere I know it's gonna flow back. Come in here like this. And then, uh, let's see, I'm gonna bring this one down 
close it off like that, and that's where her leg's gonna be, okay? So this side, I've got it like this. You just gotta remember where you're, you're adding your, your lines, because you gotta add them on the inside too, like that. Just kind of plan it all out together, you know? All right, so now I'm gonna draw her legs down to her knee, and then that's where the boot's gonna be. So I can draw the inside like this, and again, that's where the boot's gonna be. I'm gonna come in like this. Okay, and she's got the uh, uh, little shorts on too, so we gotta remember to draw that line. We'll do it on both sides. Like that. And that's where her legs bent a little. Oops, it looks a little thick there. I'm gonna straighten that out, okay? And draw the boots, okay? So the boots I've got like this. And again, I've sketched it out, so that's why I can kind of just follow my trace real fast. Okay, so again, a little detail. Something like this. And it may not be 100%, right? It's close enough is what I say. But it does have some cool details, so that's why I was trying to follow a little bit of what they did, you know? Okay. All right, same thing. We're gonna do the top of the boot like this, bring it down, a little bit of bumps from where the creases are, down to the front of the toe, come over, go in some creases and folds like that. Again, add some detail for the boot like that. This is gonna come over, inside like that. And let's see, the toes. Something like that, okay? All right, we'll give her a little bit of a knee, something like this. You can't really see this one over here, so we'll just do that. All right, so the last few things we're gonna do is just play around with some hair. So I'm gonna do those little curlicue things that I was playing around with. I was saying that we can't draw crazy hair for everything, but why not, you know? Let's, uh, let's have a little fun. And, oh, you know what? I, let me draw the cape, too, because I don't want to draw over the cape. So it's just going to be kind of flowing back here like this. And bring it back in, going to the back. Coming down. Coming up. Kind of flowing back behind her. Like that. All right, so now we're just going to finish up some of these hairs. Something a little crazy, a little fun, something like that. And so let me just do a few more and we'll be done. This one's a little long, sorry about that, but I just wanted to draw just a few little uh, lines just to show hair lines, you know? Just a few few little extra. Just like we said, we we're playing with, the, with crazy hair, so might as well draw some extra lines. I mean, I want to do it with color, but I just figured it'd be fun to play around a little bit. Okay. Plus, I got to close that off. Look at that. I just had it floating down, not doing anything. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's good. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is She-Ra. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.